Now it took two decades to paint and has been described as the Sistine Chapel of the UK. But now the painted hall at the old Royal Naval College in Greenwich is in need of a bit of a touch-up. It's getting its first major restoration for over half a century. And our arts editor Will Gompertz went to see what lies ahead. The old Royal Naval College in Greenwich, designed by Sir Christopher Wren around 1698. It's an architectural masterpiece from the outside and an artistic one inside. This is the Painted Hall, decorated by James Thornhill, with a brief to show off Britain's superiority. King William and Queen Mary stare down triumphantly from above, with Louis XIV of France trampled beneath their feet. He is down at heel, rather like the ceiling itself. The Painted Hall started life as a dining room for Navy veterans who, the story goes, weren't beyond having the occasional food fight, some of the remnants of which are supposed to have stained the ceiling. Now, I can't see any evidence of that, but I can see that it could do with some restoration. A multi-million pound renovation is planned, but first an evaluation must be made of the artwork's current condition. We have uh, a problem with surface accumulation of dust uh, and grime, as one might imagine would be the case, um, but also quite a lot of the surface deterioration of some previous coatings applied in the 1950s. And here are those 1950s conservators at work on the ceiling, using techniques that wouldn't wash today. They were very talented conservators, but the techniques they use are rather um, uh, insensitive. Um, 15 layers of varnish were removed using a solvent and a new varnish layer applied. So today, of course, the approach is very different, it's understanding exactly what's going on and making sure that any intervention now doesn't affect the paintings in a negative way in the future. The Painted Hall is often hired out as a film location. It's a way of raising money, which, as a free-to-visit tourist attraction, is always much needed. Everyone has to do their bit. Even Sir James Thornhill, the revered painter of the hall. Will Gompertz, BBC News, Greenwich.